It's always gotta rain, bro. I'm not crying, bro. You're crying. You too. What is up? It is your sensei back at it again with another video, man. Today we're doing Vinland Saga episode 17. Now you may be asking, what happened between the first episode's reaction and this? Basically, your boy might have gotten tired and didn't want to edit all that stuff and then just binge watched it all in one day. But don't worry about that. We're here now. Episode 17. Let's go. Alright, so in the last episode, Torfin decided to fight this man. So, they throwing hands right now. Yeah, he's fast. And you don't got a weapon. This is the first time we've seen him fight in this season, so here we go. Facts, he was surrounded by beasts, bro. You wouldn't even know. He wouldn't even know. Torfin had some blades, bro. Not saying that he'd outright destroy him, but... Ooh! Dodging and weaving. Okay. See, if he had a blade when he landed that gut punch, that would have been it. He would have got stabbed in the gut. And you feel me? That... <laughs> he said, dodge this. All right, bro, I got you. Hold on. He said, weave after image. What are you looking at? <laughs> bro, they're both like, yo, how did this strong ass end up on a farm bro like what what are you doing here bro you're like top tier top of the verse Ooh, listen to those sound effects bro that's so fire Oh, he's definitely not gonna let this go. He's already too deep in. He's already killed some of his men, and you know what he said last episode. Oof. That's tough. He said, Do our lives not matter, bro? It's not about the bread. Or kill people you know, and then it just. Oh, wait a minute, what? Ain't no way. This man did not come back from the dead. How the hell is he still alive? Is he going berserk mode right now? He definitely got stabbed, bro. I saw that shit. Oh, he put him in a chokehold. Yo, he's strong as hell. Yeah, he's definitely going berserk. He's not there, bro. What is she going to do? Bro, imagine if she picks up the Zord and kills them both. I know that's crazy, but like, I don't know why I thought about that. Hey, man, at least he's happy before he passes away. That's the best you could hope for, really. Look, he's not even looking in the real world. He's looking in the afterlife already. Is that him? Damn, bro. See, this season two was really like exploring the two sides of like life back then, at least, bro. Like, he used to be such a good man. And he was like happy to have a son and prideful, man. And he just wanted to do the best for his son and his family. And then God turned into a slave and it became of a, like, you know, sad. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Uh, don't put that on the baby. Disgusting. Oh, 
See, bro, slavery. That's what it does to a good person. Bro, whenever they show her hands, you just see how, like, hard she's worked. Like, they work her to the bone, bro. Like, earlier when they showed her hands on the other side, and then her, you see their nails, bro. Is the attention to detail like that, bro? Like, they're slaves, so obviously their hands are gonna be like... Oof. Now he's seeing it from her perspective, and after all those years of slavery, and he's like, damn, what a stupid decision. He's like, no, this is the worst decision of your life. Always gotta rain, bro. I'm not crying, bro. You're crying. I'm good. I'm good, y'all. I'm not crying. This music is fire, bro. It fits the tone so perfectly. It's sad yet light at the same time. Like, hey, they're showing you this beautiful scene, but you know what's really going on. And the music serves to accentuate that point. Bro, he just wanted to see his son again, bro. It's all he wanted, man. It's all he wants. You blame him. All he Bro, not crying, bro. You're crying. But yeah, they all. That's gonna be the episode. Honestly, man. At the beginning, I heard a lot of complaints that you know this season that it was no fighting, all this and all that. But honestly, I think it's even better for that, bro, because the slow buildup. Like, yeah, we got to see Torfin fight a little bit today. But they're really just giving us the story of like, hey, man, look. In the beginning, we showed you all this fighting and all this. But this is the backdrop to that, bro. Like, everything... It's not as glamorous as it all seemed. It's not just great warriors fighting, bro. And they kind of showed that in the beginning, like, the first season. But this season, they're showing it more. They're showing the slavery, the pain, the suffering, bro. It's just... That was a good episode. i give that an 8 or 9. No, i give it an 8 out of 10. Because... Honestly, bro, the music production, the sound production, that was great. Like when the when Torfin was fighting Snake, bro, the like the sound effects for the sword were fire. I don't know how he went berserk at the end, but I mean, suspension of disbelief or something, right? Suspension of belief. What what did I say? What? Suspension disbelief. Suspension of this. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Maybe I'm all right. But yeah, y'all, let me know what you think in the comment section. Was this episode good, bad, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10? If you want to see me react to more anime, check out one of these videos here or here or yeah, yeah. Oh, gun show. All right. No, I'm, I'm small. Sorry. But yeah, um, as always, comment down below what you want me to react to, and I'll catch you in the next one. Out. Peace.